All right, adventurers, welcome to All Play. We're back here with more of the Pokemon Soul Silver Nuzlocke. Now, today's going to be a little bit different than normal. Typically, we continue on our journey. We'd head towards, uh, what is it, Olivine City, and we get our next gym badge. But we're going to mix it up just a little bit. There's a few loose ends that we should probably accomplish now before later because it'll help make the journey a little bit easier. So what we're going to do, also between this episode and the next, I'll be training on my Pokemon. So uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use the day to tie up these loose ends. And we're going to fly for the very first time on our flying scavenger. Uh, we're going to head back home. Pretty much what we're going to do this episode, we're going to head back to every city and try and tie up as many of the things that we've passed by now. Uh, so we're going to start at the beginning. We're going to go back to New Barkertown. Scav, use your wings to fly. Yeah, it's weird. It's okay. All right. So uh, we're going to start in our home. We're going to talk to Mom and see what the deal was with her buying all our junk. I've kept your room tidy and clean. Or is this about your money? Oh, it's about my money. It's about my money. You can see that we have a little bit more than we, we have a little bit more on us. That we have sent to her. So we kind of don't need to deposit any money. We don't need to take uh, take any out. And we don't need to change the fact that she's holding some of our money. It's actually pretty good that she's holding it. That way in the event that uh, we go skimp broke one way or another. She's got backup for us. Uh, let's head into Professor Elm's office. Or his, his lab I should say. And see if he says anything special. Hi Jill. How are you? Yeah, how's the egg doing? Are you taking it everywhere you go? Time and care will make it hatch and give you a healthy Pokemon eventually. Y'all don't tell him. Don't tell him what happened. I'm sure he'll be mad. I'm sure he'll be mad that we messed up science. Ah, that stolen Pokemon. I wonder how I was doing. They say a Pokemon raised by a bad person turns bad itself. That ain't good because that was a Charmander. We don't need a Charmander to go bad. Okay, we came back home... Uh, mostly for nothing. There, there's nothing going on at home. All right, so we're gonna leave New Bark Town, and we're actually going to fly towards the next city, which is Cherry Grove City. There's at least one thing that'll happen in Cherry Grove City. We can, I can promise you that. Scav to the skies. Do we have the only flying radicate in the world? Okay. So let's let's check our our inventory real quick just to make sure. Yes, we got Pokeballs. We have very few good ones, but we have Pokeballs. Okay, we came back here to Cherry Grove City mostly because there is this lake here or or this water. I should say I don't know if it's a lake or not, but there's this water here. Uh, remember the man said this is the sea. Oh, so it's a sea. This is the sea, as you can see. Um, there's Pokemon in the water. There's Pokemon in the water, and we didn't catch anything in Cherry Grove City, mostly because we had no way to access anywhere in which there were Pokemon. So now we're going to surf on Perry, and hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to find us some Pokemon here in the waters. What is that? Was there a ball? Oh, I thought that was a ball. All right, here's our encounter in Cherry Grove City. A Magnemite. Not bad. Not bad. We have a uh, Vizier. We have Vizier, but Magnemite, not bad either. He's just very high level. He's much higher than I expected he would be. Uh, we need Victoria on the on the scene. Victoria! Supersonic. That ain't good. That ain't good at all. Alright, Victoria. We need a... Uh, hit it with a, a, a sleep powder. That should be fine if you catch it with the sleep powder. Nope, never mind. Never mind, Victoria is taking a break right now. Sonic Boom, that's the 20, right? That's 20. All right, here's the sleep powder again. You can't put Magnemite to sleep, right? No. You could. You could, because it's just a magnet. I, I would hate for him to. Hate for him to not be able to be put to sleep. No. I'm, I'm going to go with the fact. The idea. I should call it a fact. The idea that you can't put Magnemite to sleep. All right. Here's a fine whip for your soul. There we go. Good work. Good work. We're not going to kill it. All right, we're going to heal, though. 
We're going to heal a Victoria. We're going to heal a Victoria. That's it? That's all I got? All right. We need to stock up on... Well, what was I looking for? Wasn't I looking for super potions? Because we need 50... Yeah, okay. I should probably read. I should probably read. We'll stock up on... Uh, let's talk about medicines as well. We need. We do need more medicine. So... Come on. All right, Vicky. Here we go. Yeah. All right, he's in the yellow. Yellow's good enough for me. I won't push it. Vicky might mess around and kill it. Uh, how about a great ball? Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 All right, cool. We have a Magnemite on the team. We have a Magnemite on the team. That's lovely. Let's check the Pokedex for Magnemite. Magnemite, the magnet Pokemon. The units at the sides of its body generate anti-gravity energy to keep it aloft in the air. All right. Magnemite. Hmm. Magnemite. This is... This is anti-grav. Anti-grav's in the box. You know, with the rest of the cool kids. All right. I think that was... I really think that was all that we had to do here in Cherry Grove City. It might just be Magnemite's here in the ocean, which is uh, kind of kind of weird. It's kind of creepy. Magnemite's just floating above the water. It's kind of creepy. All right, what we're going to do here, we'll heal up. We'll heal up. Get to, uh, we won't buy items here. We'll buy items when we get to Goldenrod City. But we will heal up, and then we're going to leave from here and head towards our next... Actually, let's see. We don't want to fly towards our next city just yet. Uh, we're going to walk towards Mr. Pokemon's house. We're going to head up there. Because remember, there are two trees with apricorns in them. The fact that we can fly now means, A, we can get around a lot easier. And, B, we can get back to cities we used, we've used we been to already much easier. So one of the cities we can return to very easily now is Azalea Town. Azalea Town or Azalea City? I think it's Azalea Town. We can return there, and we'll be able to get balls from Kurt pretty much every new session, every new recording session. We'll also be able to drop stuff off towards him every new recording session. So that'll help us out a lot. There's a green apricorn here, and I believe there was a... What is it? Oh, no! Oh, no! New music! Look who it is! It's Untai! Oh, he's too high level. This is going to be horrible, isn't it? He's exerting pressure. Oh, no. This is bad. Please let us leave. Uh, Shoot. That music sounds cool, though. How about we... Oh, I want to throw out Scav and then we lose Scav. Because Scav has run away. And there's no... Oh, please let us run. Come on, Entei. Please let us... Okay, he ran. Oh, oh, that was so scary. Oh, that was so scary. <laughs> okay, okay. I can breathe. I can breathe now. Okay. All right, so what happened there? You guys remember we ran into the three legendary beasts, the dogs, the cats, the gerbils, whatever you want to call them. Suku and Entei and Raikou. Um... <sighs> I'm, I'm still trying to breathe. Okay, what happens with two of those three is we're able to see them out and around the world. They, they jump from area to area as we jump from area to area. Well, when we go from one route to the next, they jump, literally, from one location to another. They don't even have to be connected. And there's a chance that you can run into them in the wild. Uh, they're called roaming Pokemon. Now, when you run into them, they have completely different music like, like we just heard. That's why I got so shocked before it even started, because I knew exactly what was happening. Let's see them on the map. Raikou is here. Raikou is uh, between Violet City and the Dark Cave. Uh, I'm trying to... Let me see. I'm trying to zoom out. There we go. And now Entei is here but on Route 44 between whatever these two cities are. Anytime we change locations, that, that drop down that shows where we are, there, we run the risk of running into them. I'm sorry, of being on the same route as them. When we're on the same route, until we go to a different location, we run the risk of being uh, running into them, which is very dangerous at this level. Very dangerous. I have no, I have no doubt 
that if if Ente wanted to kill us there, he could have. We got very lucky. We got very lucky. I need that to not happen again. I need to stock up on uh on items that will allow us to run. Normally I wouldn't do that, but I believe this is the first time that roaming Pokemon is really a thing before you're at the level where you can handle them. So I I, I I'm probably gonna stock up on what are they called? It's a polka doll and then it's it's a, a lagging tail, wagging tail, something like that. I need to I really need to stock up on both of them. Probably will. I very likely will. Alright. So here's a pink. This one's pink uh, apricorn. Yup, it's a pink apricorn. All right, now that we made it here, what we could do is, oh, Alfred, I'm not fine. What's up, Alfred? This is Alfred. Oh, hey, good afternoon. What's up? I was so surprised. A few days ago, I received a knockout when I traded with someone. It turns out that knockout was the same one I gave away in another trade to another trainer years ago. I guess that's the case of what goes around comes around in that it came back to me. The world is small after all. I'm not answering Alfred's phone calls anymore. All right, we're going to use our lovely flying scavenger to take us from here just outside Mr. Pokemon's house to Violet City. Is there anything in Violet City that we didn't do? I'm not entirely sure. Not entirely sure. It's all right. This is an exploratory episode where we're going to explore around a little bit for a hot sec. Who lives here? Who lives here? Actually, I believe there is one thing we didn't even acknowledge. Let's see. I collect Pokemon. Do you have Bellsprout? Want to trade it for my Onyx? We could add a Bellsprout. We don't have a Bellsprout. Oh, you don't want to trade? Aw. Uh, okay, so in the event that we find a bell sprout, we can come back here and trade it for his onyx. I don't remember if we will actually get an onyx or not. A Pokemon you get in a trade goes quickly, but if you don't have the right gym badge, they may disobey you. Yeah, we saw that with uh, the far fetched, with both of those far fetched in um, in the forest. Was it Alex Forest? It's Pokemon School. Uh, let's go in the school. I'm not sure if there's anything that's actually in there, like that we need to do. People have what are, oh, <laughs> Pokemon have what are called abilities. It seems that each kind of Pokemon has distinct abilities. They say these abilities come in handy in battle. They sure do. They sure do. Some berries can restore Pokemon's health. Many other items can be held by Pokemon. It sure is tough taking notes. I'm taking notes of the teacher's lecture. I better copy this stuff on the blackboard, too. Uh, let's talk to this agent. Hey, you. I know it's a little sudden, but would you like to join a group? If you join a group, you can compete or cooperate with fellow members. It's a lot of fun. Want to join? Nah, I'm good. That's something that has to do with the wireless between games, and we can't, we can't, uh, we can't do that. It's not a thing we can do. I'm going to say before something weird happens, I don't remember if there's anything that will open a function functionality. Functionality is almost what I said. A functionality that we're not allowed to do. So I don't want it to uh, to mess up the game. Nope, I don't want to save again. I just saved. Just saved. Save all the time. Huh? The Pokemon I just got is holding something. I traded my best Pokemon to the guy beside me. Why, well, why would you? Why would you do that? The blackboard explains Pokemon status changes in battle. Read which topic. Well, we've seen all of these, with the exception of maybe Frozen. Frozen just makes it so you can't do anything if if you if you get that stat until you thaw out. Uh, let's see. I believe we've done everything now here within the lovely city of uh, Violet City. Actually, we haven't gone in the water here for another encounter. Let's do that after we talk to this guy. Bonjour, you are a trainer. Battle gym leader, when did you? When you did? Oh la la, very indeed nice. That's it? That's all you got? That's all you got, family? Fine. Let's see what we have here. Let's encounter something. Upon the waters. Let's see. What can we see? Oh, please don't be another Magnemite. Please don't be another Magnemite. It's a Paris. Then we run into a Paris. Could have swore we ran into a Paris already. Uh, I'm gonna try to try to catch it with Peck. Oh, good job, Perry. Proud of you. 
Hold that poison for me. I got you. I got you, Perry. Because Paris. Paris is hashtag trash bag. I know, I know people have been waiting for me to say hashtag trash bag. Paris is hashtag trash bag. But it's an encounter nonetheless. You never know what we might be able to get for Paris. All right. So we're going to hold this Paris here. Come on. Show us that Pokedex. Give me Paris. Paris, the mushroom Pokemon. As its body grows, large mushrooms named to to Tochu Tochukaso. Named Tochukaso start sprouting out of its back. Got it. Paris. Paris. Nickname for Paris. Oh, it's a female Paris too. Tochu. Tochu the Paris. It's over in the box with the rest of the cool kids. All right, gonna heal. Oh no, oh no, they dragged us into another battle. Seems to be nothing but Paris in these waters. And that's all right. Let's get out this battle so we can heal Perry and be on our merry way. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on, be all right. Just gotta find the Pokemon Center. Hold on, we're not that far away. It didn't, it's, it's only taking out one, right? I don't need any surprises. All right. I don't need this thing to really say when we get to the door that that uh, Perry has dropped. That's actually pretty funky. This is probably the only Pokemon Center where it takes two poison damage to get to the the to uh, what's her name Nurse Joy. Every other one only takes one poison damage. There's more than what four steps. One, two, three, four. One, two. I guess they might do threes instead, but it take, it takes two poison damage to get to the to the front desk where Nurse Joy can heal your Pokemon, as opposed to one and all the other ones. Uh, next city, we're gonna fly down to Azalea Town. I ain't mean to rhyme, I promise. It just happened. It just happened. All right, Azalea Town. The very first thing we can do when we step here. Is go to Kurt's house. We'll get the the white apricorn from just outside his, uh, his house, and then we'll head in. No doubt the um, no doubt that the the balls are done. It's been actually a few days since the last time we were here. Ah, chill. I just finished your Pokeball here. We got fast balls. We got fast balls. All right. Uh, which one were fast balls? Those were the ones. Oh, they make it easier to catch fast Pokemon. All right. Oh, so we can use that on Entei, I believe. Entei and Raikou. All right, let's talk to Kurt again. You have uppercorns for me. Fine, I'll turn them into Pokeballs. All right, we have the most black apricorns, so let's go ahead and leave those now. At least leave all three. And then tomorrow, tomorrow come 11.43 a.m., we'll be able to come back and get... New balls and leave Apricorns with him. All right, was that all in Azalea Town? Let's check out the, let's check out the Aria. Let's check out the Aria. Uh, what what's in this house? Who's in this house? Where is this house? You chased off Team Rocket and went into Ilex Forest alone. That takes guts. I like that. Come train with us. This is the house of the people that live. Oh, I'm sorry. That needed help in Alex Forest. You could tell by the far-fetched. I'm sorry. I forgot to thank you. This is charcoal that I made. Fire-type moves will become more powerful when a Pokemon holds that. So we got charcoal. We got charcoal. Oh, now I know what I forgot. I knew I forgot something else. Okay. So we there are three items that work like that, specific to fire, water, and grass, specific to the starters. We have, let's see. We have, where's the first one? Miracle Seed. It makes grass move stronger. Now we have Charcoal. It makes fire move starter. There's one stronger. Makes fire move stronger. That didn't happen. There's one more item. Kind of forgot that. We're going to, uh, let's see. We'll finish the Ziggler Town, then we'll go back and get it. The Slowpoke have returned. Knowing them, they could have just been taking it easy somewhere. 
I need you to have a little bit more respect for Slowpoke. You have an entire well dedicated to them outside of your outside of your town. Uh, let's see. Let's fly. We're gonna fly all the way back the chi- Yeah, the Cherry Grove once again. Cherry Grove City is where where it's at. Come on, come on. Thanks, Scav. I enjoy I enjoy our travel, Scavenger. Scavenger, you are already an important member to the team. You having fly solidifies your importance on this team. All right. So we're going to surf across these waters once more. Come on, Perry. There we go. All right. Thanks, bud. Let's talk to this man. A Pokemon I caught had an item. I think it's Mystic Water. I don't need it. So do you want it? We got Mystic Water. Mystic Water completes that triangle. Uh, Mystic Water makes Water-type moves stronger when it's held by a Pokemon. All right, with that done, now we can fly on to the next city, which is Goldenrod City. There's actually a lot of things that we didn't accomplish in Goldenrod City. I'm sorry, not accomplish, but didn't even look into in Goldenrod City. That's primarily why I wanted to do this episode. And then I said, you know what? Since we're doing a go back an episode, we're doing a, a catching up episode, a loose ends episode. Let's go ahead and do it now. Let's go ahead and do most of the things now. Uh, let's see, what's one of the first things we could do in this city? First off, we need to stock up on items. We're gonna stock up on items first. That's That's our first measure. If you guys... Oh, that's right. Mom bought us stuff. Good day. Chill, isn't it? I have a package for you from your mom. Here you go. Cobra berries? Co oh, I was supposed to be looking at the berries. Oh, oh, oh. That was supposed to be the very first thing. That was supposed to be the very first thing. Where's where's my, my berry pot? Here we go. Oh, two orange berries. Okay. So they don't completely destroy themselves. Okay, that's good. Because, woo. Gen 3, not having it. All right, we're going to plant some more berries in place. Wow, we are just all over the place. We're going to plant more orange berries. Remember, we need orange berries for the mill tanks uh, that are north of, what was that, Olivan City? So we're going to try and grow as many berries as possible. Now that we see that at the bare minimum, we will have two berries. We don't need to worry about it as long as we keep... As long as we keep planting them, we'll be fine. We'll, we'll get a lot of berries very quickly. How many we need? I have no idea. That's why I want to do as good as possible when it comes to uh, planting berries. All right, now that's handled, let's continue talking to this man. I have no further packages. Good. Good. That means mom's bought less junk. What are cobra berries? All right, let's talk to this, this, this clerk. Uh, potions, potions, potions. We need soups. We need soups. We can buy at the most 26. Let's get, let's get, let's get 13. We'll get 13 potions, uh, soup potions. We also need Pokeballs. I have no idea if they carry them at this store, at the department store, I should say. Let's see. Yes, they do. Okay, Ultra Ball. Oh, oh, more important than anything, we need Poke Dolls. We'll buy three Poke Dolls. Three should be okay. Once we get past, once we use all three, we should be at a better state, all right? It should be to the point where we need them immediately like that. Great balls. Uh, let's buy Let's buy three great balls. And then we'll buy the rest in ultra balls. Four ultra balls. Sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. Sounds great. We should get to new cities before we run out of these. I think that's all we need to buy. Oh, no. Shoot. Needed lemonade. Now we're broke. I'm not going home to get money from... From the mom credit union. Alright. That money, I wanted to hold that until we absolutely need it. Here's the game corner. We're not gonna do that just yet either. We're gonna that's gonna be its own episode because like I said, I wanted to be a tutorial of sorts for the game corner. Alright. Next up, next up. This is the underground passage, isn't it? Oh no, this is someone's house. Are you a trainer? I've got a useful phone number for you. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to accept this phone number. It is not this little girl's phone number, okay? I am not one of those kinds of people. It's Bill's phone number. This is Bill's family. All right. When you call my brother, he can tell you about the PC boxes where you store your Pokemon. All right. Thanks, Bill. 
Whatever happens, it makes me happy to see my own son. Hi, Chill. Would you do something for me and take this Eevee? I have no idea if it's an Eevee or not, but we're going to accept this Eevee. It came over when I was adjusting Nintendo Wi-Fi connection. Someone has to take care of it, but I don't like being outside. Can I count on you to play with it, Chill? Sure. Whoa, wait, you can't carry any more Pokemon. All right, so what we're going to do very quickly, we're going to go and deposit this. In, we're depositing somebody. Somebody's getting the box for just a hot second, all right? We're going to put someone in the box so that we can get this Eevee. I hope it actually is an Eevee. That would make me happy. That would make me very happy. You know what just hit me? And I know it's been a year. <laughs> I know it's been over a year. When... Oh, this is these are the ones that are actually on our team. Okay, good. Oh, I'm about to say, where'd all y'all fools come from? Why'd y'all die? How'd y'all die? Oh, who's going to the box? I think I'm going to put Smells in the box for just a hot sec. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, what just hit me. When Bill lets you look at his collection of Pokemon on his computer, for the longest, like up until now, I thought Bill was showing you, like, here's all the research I've done on my Pokemon. Like, I, look at this website. These are all my favorite Pokemon. Eevee, Flareon, Jolteon, uh, Vaporeon. All right? What just hit me is Bill is the person that developed the box system, the PC storage system for Pokemon. Bill has his own exclusive storage system. That's what that is. That just hit me. Yo. That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. All right, let's talk to let's talk to Bill. We'll get the we'll get this Eevee. I hope it actually is an Eevee. Can I count on you to play with it, Chill? I knew you'd come through. You're the real deal. Way to go. Okay, I'm counting on you. Take good care of it. It says we received an Eevee. Is it an Eevee? Is the actual question. Give a nickname. No. An Eevee, but it's a Porygon 2. That actually, or a Porygon Z. I don't know why I called it 2. I, I, I need I need help figuring out the difference between the two. It's Porygon Z. That's dope. This, this clearly, this is, this is Axis. I've never actually had a Porygon on the team. Even a Porygon 2, let alone a Porygon Z. Professor Elm said Eevee can evolve into seven different kinds of Pokemon. That is true. That is true. That is true. It's a little bit weird, but that is true. All right, so we got Porygon Z. Let's look at Porygon Z. It's level five, which means we're going to have to train that bad boy up. Axis. The bashful Porygon Z. Conversion to tackle, conversion, and nasty plot. What does conversion do? Conversion changes the user to become the same type as one of its moves. So it's either going to be normal or dark. Uh, Porygon Z is normal type. Okay. And then Conversion 2. It changes itself. Uh, it changes its type to make itself resistant to the type of the attack it last took. That's Interdaster. Its ability is download. It adjusts its power according to the foe's ability. What does that mean? Like I said, I've never used Porygon's family at all. So it's a little bit weird. Okay, we're going to deposit Axis back in the PC. <laughs> I don't want to replace Smells, and I really don't want to replace them with a level 5 Porygon Z. All right, Smells, how you feels, family? How you feels? Welcome back to the team. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. We got we got seven in reserve. We are, we are setting records today. Setting records. Tying loose ends and setting records. Let's see. Where else have we not been in Goldenrod City? I haven't done the radio bit that I was thinking of. And I, I legitimately want to do that. Because it really sounds like fun. I'll probably do that after this episode. Because I know there's an event coming up that will change the world as we know it. For, for quite a while. Uh, we already talked to that woman. Let's talk to these clowns. I love Mary from Pokemon Talk. I only know what she sounds like, though. Ben is a fabulous DJ. His sweet voice just makes me melt. Oh, 
Lullabies on the radio make wild Pokemon sleepy. That's why you don't see many Pokemon when the ra- when the radio plays lullabies in the tall grass. Uh, I think I mentioned this before, but when you go to your radio in your Poke Gear, the music actually does have an effect on what all happens in the overworld. So, for example, this is kind of upbeat music. I don't think this song has any effect. Uh, let's see if we can change to a, a different song, a different station. This is Pokemon Talk. This this does it. I'm not sure if this does or not. This one. Okay. So, Pokemon Music Channel. This actually does have a, an effect on... Uh, let's see. It does have an effect on the environment, your encounter rate. It's upbeat music, so you're more likely to see a lot of Pokemon if you have this playing. When you leave the Pokegear, the music is still playing. Uh, it, it plays until you enter a new route. So when you enter a route, play that song, and then walk into the grass, you're more likely to run into uh, Pokemon. Okay, so it, I believe it's this station, the top left station that tell, that that affects your encounter rate. Uh, on different days has different music so the days that play lullabies you're less likely if you have this music playing alright I actually like this song it's, it's dope uh, let's see if we can talk to these people it looks like they're about to be doing a radio show save up the blue card points for some choice prizes blue card points hi I'm Buena do you know about the radio show called Buena's Password if you could tell me the password from the program you will earn points Save up those points and trade them with that sweet young lady over there for some choice prizes. Here you go. It's your very own point card. We got the blue card. It's a it's a it's a, it's a, it's a key item. All right. So now that we have the point card or the blue card, let's tune in to Buena Buena Show. Hello, everyone. It's Buena. Time for today's password. Today's password is Cherry Grove City. Don't forget it. I'm looking forward to vi- you visiting me at Golden Run City Radio Tower. we are kind of cheating. It'll be all right. Thank you for listening in every day. Do you remember today's password? Yes, we do. Oh, well, thank you. What was your name again? Chill. Come on, chill. Join the show. Everyone ready? I want to hear you shout out today's password for chill. Oh, it actually makes us do it. This is weird. I don't remember this. I, I've never done this before. So we're on the radio. Oh, hi everybody. My name's Chill. Um, I'm a bit. I'm a huge fan of Boy this Show. Uh, this is this is Perry Pimp Pimpla the Pimpla. Perry, say hi. All right, uh, guys. You guys know the password. Today's password is Cherry Grove City. Yippee! That's right. You did tune in. I'm so happy. You earned one point. Congratulations. Dope. Tune in to my show again tomorrow. That's me using my fake radio voice. Congratula- oh, congratulations. Your points total is now one. The prize is this Pokeball. Here you go. Please join the show again. No doubt. No doubt. I'll be back. I'll be back on the radio tomorrow. Alright, let's see if we can continue up the the, the oh I guess. Let's see. Radio is good, you know. Cool music and Pokemon information, surprising news and moving dramas. It has everything. The only thing missing would be images. Oops, they call that a TV. <laughs> you clown. Sorry, authorized personnel only beyond this point. It wasn't this way before. There's something wrong with the director. Oh. All right, I guess that's it for the radio tower. By the way, that wasn't me using my radio voice. People often say I have a, a voice for radio. That's interdasting. I'm glad you guys make that analysis. I actually did radio throughout college and for maybe a few years afterwards. So it's, it's, I know I have a radio voice. It, it's all right. It'll be okay. It'll be okay, guys. Is there anything else within, um, with, oh, there's this underground area. Okay. We didn't do this underground area at all. We are going major overtime, overtime for today's episode. Just so you guys know, it's Meryl, which means Lyra's here. Hi, chill. You are just in time. When you follow this tunnel, you'll see a dress-up shop. That's where your Pokemon can put on accessories to dress up and take pictures. By the way, here's the fashion case. Did you say you want it? I knew it. This is a present for me. Lyra has just given us so many presents. 
so many presents over the course of this adventure. Keep accessories in the fashion case, okay? I should get going. See you. All right, let's talk to this man. Let's talk to this man before we go. I was challenged to a battle downstairs. It's rough down there. You better be careful. So for everybody who thought we weren't going to get into any battles besides the wild Pokemon encounters today, you are very, very wrong. Shame on you for assuming I wouldn't bring battles into, into today's episode. You guys are good, right? Y'all y'all be all right, right? Uh, Victoria, let me give you the, the seed, the miracle seed. Now that I know that we have it or now I remember we have it, I probably should have given that to you episodes ago. I wonder how many people yelled at me about forgetting that. I should also probably give Perry Mystic Water, but I feel like anytime we use Surf, it's already going to be super effective against whoever the victim is. We've been using Metal Claw in, was it Metal Claw and Peck? Yeah, I think we've used those more than we've used Surf, to be honest. So it'll be alright. He'll be okay. We've we've weirdly only used uh, Perry's water attacks when they were necessary. What's over here? Ooh, your Pokemon are very charming. How enchanting. If you dress up your Pokemon here, make it a sight to behold. Then I will even hang a picture of one in the other room. You will do this, won't you? No, not today. Not today. Not today. I'm sorry. We got we got things to accomplish. Oops. Welcome to the Memorial Photo Studio. We are no ordinary studio. You can wear a Team Rocket uniform to take a picture. Would you like to try it? Not today. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. But we will be back for that, definitely. Hold me to it. We will be back. Here's a battle. I think you have some rare Pokemon with you. Let me see them. This man sounds like he's about to rob us. I don't like his. I don't like his tone. I don't like your tone, Donald. Here's a Spoink. It's a Spoink. Uh, catch Spoink with that Metal Claw for his soul. Oh, Perry. Oh, it no splash. That's all I know. This is gonna be. These are gonna be easy pickings. These guys are very low level. We should have done this when we were in Goldenrod City. They're very low level, so we don't really have to worry about. I want to say we don't have to worry about too much. But following this game's logic, we've seen low level Pokemon when we should have seen high level. I wouldn't put it past this game that we're gonna see high level when we should see low level. Here, smells. Smells. This is your fight. You handle this. It what was it. Is a whole pip. You handle this whole pip. Oh, a skip loom. Very weirdly, I like the hop pip line. I, I think I've always liked the hop pip line. I think they're pretty cool. They're pretty cool. Jump luff is dope. Jump luff. Jump luff. Jump luff. Jump luff. That one is dope. Just so you guys know. I would never. I would never optionally put it on the team, but it's pretty dope. I think it's. That's the one that's fast, right? Jump Bluff, even though it has, like, cotton that should be holding it back. It should, it, it's pretty fast, I believe. Let's see if we can switch up the order for just a, just a day. Just a day. We'll let Perry have a break from running around. We'll let Echo out into the wild for a hot sec. How you feeling, Echo? He's happily skipping about. Good. Good, uh... Do you consider the Pokemon types in battle? If you know about the different types of Pokemon, you'll do better in battle. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? All right, fine. You're probably right. Super nerd. Super nerd! It's a Totodile. All right. All right, totes. How about we catch it with a... Uh... Can we uproar? Can we uproar it out today? I think we could uproar it out. There's one. Good work, X. Good work, X. Proud of you. Proud of you. Uh, Ghastly's coming out. Ooh, we can't uproar Ghastly. Ghastly is a ghost type. Ghosts are immune to normal type attacks. So let's switch over to Smells. Smells got this for now. Come on. Come on. Hey, it's Ghastly. All right. Catch Ghastly with... Ooh. I could have sworn... I could have sworn Smells had a dark type attack. That's the only reason I switched to Smells. All right, let's switch to let's switch to Scaff. I could have sworn Smells had a dark type attack. I don't know which one, but I thought it had like bite or something. Here's Spite. 
Spice not working because we ain't doing anything. Here you go. Hold this crunch for me. Good work. Good work, Scav. I'm sorry, Smells. I set you up for the okie doke. I'm sorry. So I believe we're going back to Echo. Back to Echo Curtis. All right. All right, Swab Blue. I'm gonna get Swab blown back. Here's the confusion. All right. Who's up next? Slowpoke. All right. Uh, was that it? What? What else? You know, astonished. Okay, I'll keep you in X. I'll keep Echo in. All right. Here's a. Oop. Here's here's Astonish. Hold this Astonish for me. There it is. Good work. Good work. Ow, ow, ow. He was right. I probably should have been paying attention to types. I should have at least looked at the moveset. One more battle? Let's do one more battle. If this was a different day, there would have been one of two gentlemen, I believe, here. Uh, they're brothers. They're the grooming brothers. They they groom your Pokemon uh, to make them a little bit more beautiful, and that raises their happiness a little bit. Uh, I believe the days are every day but Monday, so I just chose the wrong day to want to come down here. My Pokemon just got a haircut. They're the haircut brothers. Sorry, not the grooming brothers. The haircut brothers. I'll show you how strong it is. Wait, you just got them a haircut? So hold on. You you gave them a haircut, then the brothers decided, oh, guess what? Not going to be here, and then we walked down here? Is that what happened? Is that what happened? If so, I'm hot. I'm hot. Let's switch out from Pupitar. Even though we have an, we have an advantage by level, I don't want Echo going up against a Pupitar. It's a little dangerous. It's a little bit dangerous. There's a screech attack. It don't even matter. It don't even matter because we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna straight up vital throw. Come on, come on, Don. Hey, come on. Well, all right. Well. All right. One shot. Come on. Oh, well, that was it. That was it. Good job, team. Proud, proud of everything you guys have accomplished here today. I'm proud of it. I'm proud of it. Uh, is there anything else here? No entry beyond this point. Well, I guess there is, but we can't get there. One more battle? Let's do one more battle. We'll do one more. I got booted out of the game corner. I kept winning at the new game uh, coin game, and they thought I was cheating. Well, probably shouldn't be good at it. You probably should. Number one, you shouldn't be a nerd and try and go gambling. That sounds like you're setting yourself up. It sounds like it sounds like what what uh what you're doing is counting cards. They they probably don't like it when you count cards. Second, I hope they don't throw us out because I am amazing at the the games in the game corner. Just so you, just so y'all know. I am amazing. I will brag on myself about that one. Aaron will switch from from Echo to let's switch to uh Aaron. Let's give Vic, let's give Vicky another shot this episode. Let's give Vicky another shot. Come on, hey, come on. All right, here's a razor leaf for Vicky's soul. Come on, hey, come on. One shot. Of course. Look at that level difference. It's not even fair. It's not even fair. All right. And now I believe that's everything we can do within Goldenrod City. I'm going to put... Let's put Perry back up front. Like I guess I just want Echo to get a little bit of underground experience. There are some shops downstairs, but there are also some trainers. I'm scared to go down there. Listen, you ain't got nothing to worry about. I just shut them all down and shut them all up. Here we go. I know that you can find the Pokeathlon Dome when you take uh, Route 35 North and go past the left gate. But I seem to get lost every time I come to this town. I don't even know what that means. I don't know what that means, to be honest. Is that everything within Goldenrod City? 
Yes, it looks to be. It looks to be so. Did we check the housing area over here? What is this house? I think we did come in here. Let's see. Yes, we did. I remember thinking something funny about her hair. Sometimes healthy Pokemon is... No, we didn't, did we? No. No, we didn't. And now we did. All right, we're going to leave. <laughs> we're going to leave Golden Rod City, heading back to the next city, which would be... Ikrutik. I think we did do everything in Ikrutik City, though. I think we did. Actually, there's one thing that we didn't do here, and I believe it's this city. Let's see. Let's check it out. It might give us a chance to get another Pokemon. If I talk to this gentleman here, what will he say? Yes, it is this guy. Remember, we talked to him and he wanted us to give a letter to a friend. But he didn't want to just give us the letter. They do that by giving us Pokemon. Remember, Pokemon can hold different items. And one of the items that he can hold, that Pokemon can hold, is mail. On mail, you can write different letters. I'm sorry, different words to send messages to people. As if they couldn't just talk to each other when you trade Pokemon. Because remember, this was back in the days before the internet. I'm sorry, Gen 2 was back in the days before the internet. Where you had to be a, with a link cable uh, to trade Pokemon to people, so you were already in the proximity to trade Pokemon to people, or to talk and send messages to people. So my whole point is, we're gonna get this Pokemon from this guy, and depending on whether or not it's good, we'll deliver the mail, alright? Uh, smells, you're gonna go back in the box for, once again, just a hot sec. Just a hot sec. And we're gonna fin- we're gonna find out. We're not gonna fin anything. We're gonna find out we're going to find out what Pokemon he wants to give us to give the mail to us so we can give the Pokemon to his friend so we can give the mail to his friend. And if it's good, we're going to keep it. Just so you guys know, I'm on, I'm on that tip today. Okay, let's talk to him again. I received this letter the other day from a friend of mine. Here's the reply that I wrote. I'm stuck here and I was wondering if you would deliver it. He's on Route 31. Okay, so his friend is on Route 31. We need to remember that in the event that we do want to deliver this. Can you help a guy out? Sure. Wow, thanks. We got a Spearow with mail. Remember, it's probably randomized. Let's check it out. Spearow. A slow bro named Kenya? Bruh! Bruh! Slow bro. This is Kenya the Hasty Slowbro uh, from Webster. It has grass mail. Its moveset is Growl, Water Gun, Confusion, and Disable. You know? You know, the upstanding thing to do is to actually deliver this. So Route 31, we're going to deliver the mail to her, his friend on Route 31. Once we're done with this Slowbro. We got a Slowbro on the team. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, all right. Now that I think about it, I think there's actually one more encounter. I think there's one more encounter that we that we're missing. Let's see. Let's deposit Slowbro. Slowbro's gonna be on the team, just not right now. Not right now. Slowbro is there when we need it. Hopefully, this Slowbro doesn't die. Hopefully, this Slowbro doesn't die because we will eventually deliver this Slowbro. We already have a water type. Echo is. Oh, I gotta remove the mail. Uh, okay. You can't deposit mail in the box. We got about that. I don't know why it's weird. It's weird, but we, you can't deposit mail. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the mail uh, in the PC. Yes, in the PC. That's that's what we're gonna do. Okay. So we're gonna deposit Slowbro and get our smells back. There's one more encounter that we that we missed. Just so you guys know, and this one's actually the coolest in the entire game. When I saw that, I was like, yo, this this was easy. I can't believe I can't believe we got this encounter. This is back in back in eleven in the eleven to thirteen age. Alright. Let's see. Uh Scav, I need you to fly us one more time. I'm pretty sure we did everything there is to do in Ecrutic City. So we're gonna fly back to Cyanwood. There's a house that we didn't visit. There's a single house that we didn't visit. All right. Let's see. Is it this house here? No, this is the pharmacy. We went to the pharmacy. Let's check. Oh, let's uh, 
Let's take this house here. You came from Olivine? Do you remember the four? Oh, we talked. We went in this house already. Because I asked if the myth mythical creature will help me get back home quickly. Uh, let's see. Is this a house here? Yes. Let's check this house. Ah, mm -mm. uh, I'm a jock. A guy about your age with piercing eyes and long hair came in. He scared me into giving him my prized Pokemon. I still have one left. But what if he comes back? You look strong. Could you look after my Pokemon for a while? Yes. Yes, we can look over for a while. Um, I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll have, I don't have space for it, but I'll be back. Also, it sounds like Silver has been here. And Silver is going around threatening people for their Pokemon. Hey, I wonder what other Pokemon he got from, uh, from this man. And B, I thought Silver was trying to, uh, to save the world. Uh, Smells, I'm so sorry that I keep doing this to you, Smells, but I gotta pick somebody. And it ain't gonna be Echo. So I'm gonna hold, I'm gonna put you right here for just a hot sec, Smells. Promise we'll be right back. Promise we'll be right back. Alright, let's run in, uh, let's run in the house one more again. Let's run in the house one more again and help this man out. I'm in shock. Yeah, we, we, we had this conversation already. Uh, let's see. Let's look after this Pokemon. Oh, thank you. Take good care of it, please. We received a Pokemon. Hi, how's my Pokemon? All right, normally they give us a Shuckle, which is, I believe... The most defensive Pokemon there is. Shuckle's really cool. There's a lot of cool strategies revolving around Shuckle. We got a Politoed. Yo, that's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. That's pretty. What is he holding? He's holding a berry juice. Politoed is actually interesting because it is an alternate evolution for. Holly Wrath, which is really important to us in the Fire Red playthrough. So this is actually pretty cool. This is Shucky the Relaxed Poly Toad. Uh, its ability is Damp, which prevents combatants from self-destructing. So self-destruct and explosion don't work as long as uh, uh, Shucky is in play. Its moveset, Bubble Beam, Hypnosis, Double Slap, and Parish Song. Parish Song is pretty dope. It's, it's a nice strategy. All right. Uh, will we, will we protect his Shucky for him? Sure. Sure, we'll protect your Shucky. Oh, we'll protect that Shucky, all right. We'll protect it in the box. Shucky's not, a uh, Shucky's not going on the team. Not for smells. Okay, guys, I believe that's everything. In this very long episode today, we have caught up on, excuse me, on everything. Now what I'm going to do is train up the team a little bit. We're going to train it up so that we're ready for the next uh, gym. Remember, we still have to go back to the lighthouse. We'll be doing the lighthouse bit in the next episode. So we're going to save it here. All right. Just so I remember that that's where we left off. If you guys enjoyed this super long episode of the Pokemon Soul Silver Nuzlocke and would love to see more, then all you have to do is hit that red button below this video. Now that's that subscribe button subscribe button and i'll do my best to make sure you guys can see more episodes of games like pokemon soul silver more challenges like the nuzlocke run as well as everything else that alt play has to offer thank you guys for checking this out and i'll catch you later with more here on alt play people have been asking for long episodes i don't think it get any longer than this one